Great way to get introduced to someone by putting about 250 caliber sniper rifles in your face, about two FAMAS rifles, also as well one RPG, two 44 Magnums, and also as well a grenade launcher. So I mean, we fucking love you, bitch. We fucking love you. So this one we get introduced to one of the next main cast in Nisekai, and that is Hitman. Sugumi, like Seishiro, and pretty much you see like she's trans as well, and this boy makes a promise saying, you know, I'm gonna make sure I protect Chitoge. She's like really like, oh, you rock, you ain't manly enough, you know, for Chitoge. I'm the right person for her, you know, you better have the fuck off. And literally how, like she said, oh, I just want to talk to you for a bit like that. And I've got to say, the animation in this episode was fucking phenomenal. They really like updated for definitely um so we mainly really care more for this character because throughout like the whole manga and even as well like i say with the anime i wasn't really looking that too much to her but then her um the introduction was really good so i've got to give it to that literally means over raku going towards saying you know you went enough the freaking chitoge and puts the freaking gun towards freaking chin like that and poor fucking raku is there uh, shooting himself he's like Okay, what the fuck do I do right now? There is someone with a gun to my chin. Like, I don't want to, like, freaking have, like, a butt chin for the rest of my life. Well, I like to say, oh, he's saying, oh, you're not even worth it. And he just, like, walks off. And, you know, Raku is a beast. He freaking saying, you know, that is my girlfriend right there. I really care for her. Like, Tsukumi thinks it's like, oh, you just want to, like, have the mafia, you know, the whole organization thing. And pretty much to sell this, they have a duel. And I just, like, the crazy amount of animation they had, like, while she's, like, firing guns, putting, like, rocket launches everything going out there and like you're saying oh fuck you you know I'll, I'll let you call off in the pool that jumps off and then it's like ah oh, like it's all wet and passed out i better take him with me and goes in the boys changing rooms and finds out that sugumi is in fact a girl and it's like what the fuck it's like <laughs> he's like they're like shitting himself and then the freaking girls and, and the boys are looking around because i was pissing myself that shoe was like placing base it's like oh and let's see who will get murdered first like that but with like freaking Shu, Chitoga, and everyone tried to came into the boys' uh, locker room saying, Oh, they here? No, 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 we don't see them. It's like, wait a minute, why would they be in like, why is Sukumi being in the boys' locker room? Chitoga knew from the start. She said, No, they mentioned, oh, she's a girl, by the way. It's like, good old Chitoga. And then they're there whispering. I felt really bad when you found out the backstory about uh, Sukumi in the locker room. You know, saying, like, for her whole life, like, she was sort of like adopted from like Cloud. And she thought, even as well, Cloud thought, is not even to this day, still thinks he's a guy. So it's like, Oh, you're Seishiro, because that's like a manly name. And it's like, and then even as well, like, really, she just really wants, she really cares about, um, Chitoge, she really cares about it. and it's really nice and sentimental for that and she's there crying saying you know I'm so useless being beaten by someone like you and it's just saying you know you are kind of cute and you are nice like that and then freaking um <laughs> freaking Chitoge just comes in and literally cracks him so hard in the face he does like a freaking giant shuriken and pretty much you know they all go their own way saying you know she becomes like more girly she comes out in a little girl's outfit and say okay let's make sure that people remember you by like that and has like a little ribbon in her hair even though she still wears like the boys outfit and overall like Sugumi lets Raku win and turns out the promise that they made wasn't the promise that even um she thought as well I was like oh god damn <laughs> like there's still that promise that she told him made with that guy 10 years ago so that's still in the open windows right there with um, what's going to happen, maybe Sugumi has the answer to it. Like, uh, overall, this, this was a really enjoyable episode. It had a great introduction, really good animation. This was like 8.5 to like a 9. It really was enjoyable. It really was funny. It had its good moments to it. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. But that's all for me. I want to thank you very much for watching. As always, remember, I'll see you guys.